Welcome to ProStitcher Designer Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. I'd like to show you how to use the magic wand tool. Let's start with a new design page. Select the home tab, then click on new and you'll have a brand new design page ready to go. Next, we need to load a backdrop to use our magic wand tool. So let's select the tools tab, then from the ribbon here, we'll select backdrop tool. And let's choose load. This opens a file folder in our, uh, on the C drive on our computer. You'll notice that it's the C drive and then the file is called images, just in case if yours does not automatically go to this one. Look for your file that's called images on your C drive. Let's choose this butterfly. Looks like a fun one to auto digitize. Just a note, the butterfly, the butterfly fish, the dinosaur, the flowers, the balloon, and the snail all come as backdrops that you can use in Designer. They come with the program. I know that this is the design that's been chosen. Down here it's showing me my file name that I've chosen is the Auto Digi Butterfly. Let's go ahead and click on Open. My backdrop has now loaded to my design page. I want to change the size of this backdrop. So let's start by doing that. First I'm going to come up here and click on the backdrop tool again. And once again, this drop up, drop down menu will load. Let's click on select to actually select our backdrop. This is the only way that you can choose the backdrop to manipulate it. Otherwise, you're just designing on top of it. I want to change the size of this backdrop. Right now it's telling me that it's 3.66 inches wide by 3.42 inches tall. I want to change this to six inches wide, so I'm going to highlight that and type in a six. And then I'll come down here and click on my tab button. And I need to find my apply button. So you'll see I'm just going to hover over the top of that little line there to make this top window larger so that I can find my little apply button here. I'll click on this and it made my backdrop design larger. I can hit the space bar or just simply use the scroll uh, button on my mouse to bring my design more into view on my design page. There's a few other things that we can change on the size of the, the backdrop when it's selected. I can change it, the scale, I can rotate it, and I can also adjust the lightness. I can make it darker or lighter so that it's a little easier to uh, design on top of. I can also change my magic wand tolerance, meaning it will be more susceptible to variations in color or less, depending on how I choose it. If it's at maximum, it is more sensitive. If it's at minimum, it is less sensitive. Once I've gotten all the changes made to my backdrop that I want to, let's just go ahead and click out here to the side to unselect it. I'll we'll click on my select button here. Next, I want to activate the magic wand tool. So first, we need to choose one of the draw tools. Let's go to the Bezier, which I like to use for this because it allows you to do both straight lines and curved lines all within the same design. Now you'll see that the magic wand tool is active and ready to go. We'll click on this so that we can use it. And my cursor, my mouse cursor, as you can see, is turned into a cute little magic wand. I'd like to pick a, a section of this design to auto digitize. So I'm going to put my magic wand right in the center of this yellow spot and just do a click. And you'll notice, I'm going to come over here and choose my zoom tool and just draw a box around it so we can zoom in. I have a nice little line drawn all the way around that separate design. This is the best thing about the magic wand tool. It lets you choose what you want to really focus on uh, digitizing and it doesn't digitize the whole thing like using the auto digitizing wizard does. Now let's make this line we've just drawn a little bit easier to see so as this line is selected here let's come over here in the um, property window in the sidebar and let's change this stroke width. I'm going to just highlight that and type in a three and then we'll just scooch down here so that we can click on the apply. And it will change the width of that uh, line. 
if it's selected. Don't forget to select it first. So stroke width, we'll change that to a three. We'll click apply and you can see that that line around it is now thicker and it is easier to see on top of the backdrop. If you'd like to check and see your design without the backdrop in the window, it's really easy to just turn it off in view. So let's go to the view tab and then right here if I click on backdrop, it turns off my backdrop. It doesn't remove it from the page, but it turns it off so it's easier to see exactly what, I've digi what I have digitized. I'm going to turn my backdrop back on. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully you'll be able to have a lot of fun playing around with the magic wand.